दाम आसियों पर ये बड़ा एहसान गए या खुदा हम आसियों पर ये बड़ा एहसान गए जिंदगी में वे अता हम को किया रमदान गए ब्यूटी most important one you will see the lack of this amal in almost every one of us and what is that khushu' and khudu' attention and submission towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while offering our prayers mukammal tawajjuh ke sath mein dil laga kar allah ke huzur pesh hona aur allah ki bargah mein ibadat karna when i say khushu' is very important Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran about the qualities of believers called the aflah al-mu'minun alladhina hum fi salatihim khashi'un Believers are successful and when Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking about the qualities of the believers he mentions that they are always when they are praying they pray with khushu' with attention with submission towards Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala As I said, we have the we have lack of this beautiful quality of a believer. Most of us, when we pray, we are not even here mentally. We are thinking about millions of things. You know, when do we have to go to shop right? What do we have to buy? What are the clothing coming? You know, who is the passenger? What are the pickups? This and that. You know, so many things going on in our our mind. You know, and this is insane. That's how we are. but not trying for that this is actually a you know main crime this is the major sin that we should we do not even try if we want to see how we should pray there's only one personality we could actually ask rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and what he says sallu kama raaitumuni usalli sahih al bukhari that you pray when the way you see me pray and when we look at the life of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Rasulullah and his Sahaba, they were completely, you know, at, you know, their intention and their submission was completely towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Even something major happening behind them, physically or something, but they were completely in salah. They didn't know what's going on. But when we say Allahu Akbar, immediately Shaitan comes, and now you think, oh, this is something I was forgetting, right? And even sometimes we say with mazak, with joke also. that you start praying you will remember what is that right may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us allah has promised us in quran inna salata tanha 'anil fahsha'i wal munkar indeed sala your prayers protect you your prayers protect you from major sins and especially the sins which are related to your morals your akhlaq your character your haya but we do not see any kind of changes in ourselves that means allah's promise is not a lie that's not false the the thing it is faulty that is actually our own iman we are not praying our salah with khushu' and khuzu' now we have to ponder what are the reason so the first reason is that we do not understand what imam is saying we don't understand what is actually imam reading when we don't understand we cannot pay attention completely we see some arabic lines some arabic ayahs going on and we are thinking any ayah you remember with translation when imam will read you will feel you will know what's going on brother mursi sometimes he corrects me he said imam you did blunder today you know <laughs> because you you did upside down because he knows the translation and of course we should try that you know we should try that any surah which you are reading in your sunnah in your nawafil when you know the translation you have that feeling when you are saying fa ambal insan idha ma abtalahu rabbuhu fa akramahu wa na'amahu fa yaqulu rabbi akraman 
وَأَمَّا إِذَا مَبْتَلَاهُ فَقَدَرَ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَهَانَ The true face of insan, Allah has shown in this, these ayahs. You actually will be feeling, you know, so shattered and, you know, shivering because of the, you know, the scare Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the picture Allah is showing to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us talking. The second thing, we pray salah, that's the main reason, another reason, as a duty. And nobody likes duty. You have to go 9 o'clock tomorrow at work, Monday. You had off Saturday, Sunday. You have to go because you have bills, mortgage, loan, installment. So you have to go. But you don't like to go. But if you love your work, if you have something that you love your work, then you will go with your heart, right? Similarly, when we pray, all we have to fulfill the duty. Our pastime, pray ke jaldi se khatam karo. If we have that kind of thought, we will never ever be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we are praying. But if we have this thought, that when I will say, Allahu Akbar, I am connected with my Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I say, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, I am the lowest and He is the greatest, then actually we have that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that connection and that salah will stop us from any kind of major sins and the actions of bihaya in immodesty. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me and give all of us tawfiq that we pray with complete attention and khushu wa khuzu. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We'll have sajda tilawah in uh, first rakat inshallah.